www.ubuntu.com download and uh, Ubuntu for IOD Raspberry Pi 2, 3 or 4 select this Okay, Ubuntu 20.04 LTS Raspberry Pi 3 64 bit and download. Ready. So you will have this file Ubuntu 20.0 pre-installed server ARM64 RASP by IMG. Okay, and go to Etcher, double click, select image. Select the pre installed server, open, insert memory, and uh, be sure is F, okay, F. Then flash. Yes. Okay, cancel. Okay. Cancel. Okay, don't worry about this message flash complete close this and verify and device is not here anymore okay display HDMI and USB keyboard and this is the power supply. Okay, enter Ubuntu, enter password Ubuntu, enter you are required to change your password immediately. Current password Ubuntu. New password. Enter. New password again. Enter. Okay. 
enter IP address and remember the IPv4 and IPv6 address Ethernet 0 IPv4 and IPv6 addresses Okay, enter and IP root This is the IPv4 default gateway and IPv IP and IP option 6 space root And this is the IPv6 default gateway. Okay, and from Prudy, access using IPv4 or IPv6. 192.168.1.15. Open. Open. Yes. Username Ubuntu password, your new password. Very good. Now, set your static IPv6 and IPv4 addresses. Okay, and list the contents of Etsy NetPlan directory and modify this file sudo i will use bim let's see net plan 50 and press tab to complete enter okay but before to modify and uh, create a backup of this file escape key column and Q to quit. Enter. Create the backup. sudo uh, cp at cnet plan 50 at cnet net plan 50 and that original. Now there is a backup and you can modify this using BIM. So the beam and the file 50 cloud in it that enter I key to insert now you are on insert mode okay network Ethernet Ethernet zero enter Addresses, addresses, column. Be careful with the alignment and tabulation. One I two one sixty eight one. For example, two 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 and twenty four prefix. In my case. IPv6 you need to know the IPv6 address on your local network very similar to the IPv6 address using the HCP to zero zero two zero zero F5 C0 1 6 CD column column 2 2 2 prefix 64 prefix 64 gateway 4 for IPv4 column space 192.168.11 one, one. 
gateway for IPv6. DHCP for false and optional to and DHCP six false name servers name servers column. Addresses column and the addresses of DNS servers in this case, in my case, is this using IPv6. And the search, you can use your domain. And don't worry if you don't have a domain, it's optional. Teach emergent.com e in my case, but it's optional. Okay, and that's it. Escape key, column, W to write, and Q to quit. Enter. And apply changes, sudo net plan apply. Enter. And wait a moment. Okay, enter. And enter, enter, enter. And uh, you will lose connection as expected. Don't worry, close this, okay? Okay, test ping to the New IPv4 address of your device. Success. Ping the IPv6 address. Success. Now you are able to access SSH. Put it again. Enter your new IPv4 or IPv6 address. Port 22 SSH open. Yes. Ubuntu, your new password. And here, ping to google.com. Success. By default, is using IPv6. Control C to stop and ping using IPv4 to google.com, option 4, and success. Control C to stop.